A couple years ago, Václav, our camera guy, gave a tour around Prague to a group of Swedish game developers that were location hunting for their new project. Of course, back then they couldn't tell Václav what the game was about, but we found out only now, in 2022, when the game finally came out. It's called Vampire Masquerade Blood Hunt. Sounds like a regular Friday in Prague. And since Vatsov gave them a tour around Prague around five years ago, we were kind of curious if they managed to get Prague right for their game. So today we're going to look at some of the locations that you might recognize. Actually, you might recognize this one already if you played the game. We will start where all the tourists that arrive to Prague start, from the main train station. And we're here at the main train station. You can see the historical building of the train station over there. And it's pretty much identical to the one in the game. Uh, you can also notice those elevator kind of glass shafts. And also, if you will ever want to visit this part of Prague on your own, just a little warning. This is one of the areas with the highest crime rate. <laughs> I think it's mainly because of the pickpockets, because it's the train station. Those are kind of risky always areas in uh, other cities as well. And and uh, in Prague we call it the Sherwood Forest. You can guess why. Another cool thing that we've noticed in the game was the statue of Sir Nicholas Winton that is located already next to the uh, train tracks. So we cannot go there because we cannot film uh, there. Every time we try, they kick us out. Now we don't have to because it's all featured in the game and it's again very, very similar to reality. Oof, it became hot all of a sudden. I wonder if that's because we are next to the burning church. Well, that's how it is called in the game. In reality, it is called the Church of St. Giles. And I have my own hypothesis why this church might be burning. Because historically, it was connected to a monastic order of St. Dominic, also known as Dominicans or Dominicanes, the hounds of God. And one of their symbols was this dog that was carrying a lit torch. The torch was symbolizing, of course, the light of Christianity. But after this bloody history that this order had, I think it more reminds us of the fires that were set up by the Inquisition during the witch hunts. Another reason why I think it can be the burning church uh, in the game is because of the certain altar located inside, which is dedicated to Saint Lawrence. And if you have never heard about Saint Lawrence, for sure check out his uh, origin story or his legend, because uh, he was burned on a grill. Okay, and we made it to the Old Town Square, the heart of the city of Prague. And in the game, it's actually the center of the city on the map. And we think they really nailed this location in the game because they got the astronomical clock right. Astronomical clock is one of the most famous sites in Prague. And in the game, you can see it really well, especially the lower dial, which is illuminated by the light of the lamp there. Another place that I can show you here in this area that was featured in the game is the House of the Minute one of the most famous Renaissance houses in Prague. You can also see the same uh, kind of pictures called graffito in the game and in reality, which is also very cool that they did that. And the thing that I was impressed by is this little connection between the buildings. I know it's kind of like a small detail, but I was really impressed that they got it right in the game. And also, as you know, in the game, you are mainly jumping on the rooftops and you are able to kind of teleport yourself into some far distances. We cannot do that in reality, but I think I know where we could go to try to replicate that.
This is one of our most favorite locations in the game. We are now standing next to the riverbank and you can see that they really did a great job uh, with this location because when you play the game, you immediately recognize it. We have the Czech bridge over here. We have the Prague castle behind me. Next to the Prague castle, you can also see the Petrin tower. And of course here we have the law faculty and right next to it, we even have the two brutalist hotels. Uh, brutalist in the sense of a style, yeah. Uh, Beton Brut comes from that. But of course, in reality, they're called differently. Uh, this hotel is called Intercontinental, or was because actually now it's going to be called uh, a little bit differently. They're reconstructing it. But in the game, it's the crown. And uh, when we go down this way, we will also find another location featured in the game. It's going to be the church next to the hospital of uh, France. Okay, thank you guys for watching. We hope you liked our today's uh, Prague reality versus game <laughs> comparison. And we'll see you on our next one. Bye!